What's going on YouTube? My name is Darian. Of course, on YouTube, I am known as the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. We talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel, man. So if that's your thing, I hope you won't mind subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well so you don't miss out on any videos. And hopefully, at some point in time, YouTube will notify you that I've uploaded a new video. All right, so do that for you, boy, man. Listen, I'm excited today because I'm going to be introducing a relatively new fragrance brand, and I love doing this because I love the exploration aspect of being a fragrance enthusiast, all right? And the fragrance brand that we're gonna be talking about today is called Adamo Pa Farms. Again, this brand is relatively new, so I'm really excited about the opportunity to be one of the first people on YouTube to really delve into the brand and introduce you guys to all three fragrances that they release in this initial collection of fragrances. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the intro and I want you guys to make sure you stay tuned because you're gonna have a chance to win pretty much a free discovery set. All right, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna run the intro so I can get into uh, discussing these three fragrances with you guys so I can give you guys my opinion on them and the whole nine to run down. You know how we do. So if you wanna hear more about these three amazing fragrances, I will say, from the brand of Adamo Parfums, then you know the routine, man. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into this video again. I'm super excited about the video today because this is a relatively new brand, and I love introducing you guys to uh, new fragrances. But again, the brand is Adamo Parfums. All right, they reached out to me a few months back. Uh, I think it was maybe uh, via email, and uh, wanted to talk to me about you know, doing a video to kind of discuss the brand. So they sent me first the discovery set because I wanted to see if I really, what I thought about the fragrances first. And um, I had a really, you know, uh, so say a good problem uh, when I got the sample set. Of all the three fragrances in uh, the collection, I didn't know which one I liked the best. So that's always a problem to me because it wasn't an easy decision to say, hey, which one of these fragrances in the, is the best because they're all so different and unique and different from one another, but they were all really, really good and very well done. So at the end of the day, we discussed it, man. They were able to send me all three fragrances, so I'm happy to be able to show you guys the presentation, the bottles and the whole nine, and just kind of you know get all into what I think about these fragrances. Now, the name of this new collection is called the Roman Collection, all right? Uh, these fragrances were centered around uh, that era of time, the Roman era of time, uh, evoking the power and decadence of that particular era of time. These fragrances are very bold, daring, and I would say sensual is another word I would use to describe uh, these fragrances. Now, let's get into, first of all, uh, the presentation on these fragrances, and we'll start, obviously, uh, with, with number one, all right? So these fragrances are are simply named one, two, and three uh, with a Roman numeral, I'm um, sorry, with a Roman numeral uh, to uh, actually uh, indicate the name of the fragrance. This is number one, all right? And I will tell you, after having these in my possession for some time, after some time, I've initially said that number two might have been my favorite, but now I really feel like this is the one right here, number one. All right, so again, I really like this presentation. Very unique uh, bottles, I must say. So on the front, you have the name of the fragrance house. Then you have, of course, the Roman numeral, number one. There on the front, you have the uh, insignia there, the A on the side, both sides of the box. And uh, of course, just the batch code and all the other information there on the bottom of the box. So you just slip it off like this, and guys, this is the real beauty here. I love these bottles. Just check that out. Now that is gorgeous. All right, they spare no expense with the bottles. It rests very securely, I will say, in the base of the box. All right, you take it out, 
Again, very secure. It has a little velvet texture there in the bottom of the box on the base there where it rests. That's always good because I feel like this kind of texture on boxes really protects the fragrance and makes it secure. Um, but that's just, again, a part of this whole thing, the presentation. But guys, look at this bottle. Look at the first, the, the front of the bottle. That's just great. I mean, they all look pretty much the same, except you're gonna have a different, obvious, obviously, uh, Roman numeral there at the front, and this is number one. But check out the back of the bottle. Just look at this. Just a nice touch there with the name of the brand and scripted in cursive script there. And uh, this is just, again, very, very stunning presentation. All right, guys, so let's get into what number one smells like. Let's start with a spray here. I want you guys to see how this sprayer works. Nice mist right there. And after some trial and error, guys, this is my favorite. I love this one. Oh, number one is my favorite, guys. To my nose, you get some, it's a little powdery, and that's coming from the violet, all right? So there's a slight powdery aspect to this fragrance. There's rose in the opening as well. <clears throat> and you're gonna get some rum, so it's boozy. Love the boozy accord uh, that is used in this fragrance. That rum is really boozy up top, pairs really well with the rum and that powderiness that I'm getting from the violet uh, in this fragrance. Ah, oh, man, the base is really, to me, about this uh, an amazing amber accord. So for me personally, you guys know how I, am, how I am. Anytime you give me booze and amber, you probably got a winner on your hands. And this is definitely no exception. I love this one. Like I said, after some trial and error, although it was difficult at first, after some time, this one came out as on top as my favorite. Love this one. So if you like boozy fragrances, if you like amber, this is probably going to be the one that you enjoy the most. And again, this one is number one. This is good. Really quickly, guys, if you want to get this discovery set that is going to feature uh, all three fragrances that I'm going to talk about today, if you use the code BOWTIE, I'm going to make sure I link the brand down below the website. Use the code BOWTIE. And basically, the discovery set is going to be free. Um, you do have to pay for shipping, but the set itself will be free. You get a really nice uh, sample of all three fragrances in the discovery set. Definitely enough to get multiple wares out of each one and determine if you feel like one of these is full bottle, full bottle worthy for yourself. So make sure you do that, guys. Go to the website, adamoparfums.com. Again, I'll link it down below. And make sure you use the code BOWTIE. That's how you're going to get the discovery set for free. Like I said, you do have to pay the shipping. Uh, but the set itself will be free. So again, I'll make sure I link it down below. All right, guys, the presentation is pretty much the same on all of these because I showed you the box with number one. Uh, I won't show you again, and the bottle is pretty much the same as well. It just has, it just has a different Roman numeral again in the center of the fragrance. But this is number two. Again, I can't say enough about how much I love the how classy and unique these bottles are. All right, so you take the top off. We're gonna give this one a spritz so that I can tell you guys a little bit about what I get from this one. So number two, what do we get here? A uh, little spicy. I, I get, I definitely get that really juicy blood orange note in the top. I get that and I get some spices, man. Saffron, I think cardamom is in here as well. Black pepper. And I definitely get this, uh, a nice dose of sandalwood. To me, that was the most prominent note when I sprayed this one and why initially I was started to lean towards number two being my favorite because I really love sandalwood and there's a lot of sandalwood in this fragrance. But yeah, man, spices, spices and sandalwood. That, again, that orange opening from the blood orange, you get the spices and you definitely get a lot of sandalwood. Sandalwood is the main note in this composition. So if you're a sandalwood lover, you're going to love number two. Oh, man, this one is really good. And like I said, initially, I went with this one as my favorite. But over the course of time, number one won me over. But my God, if you like if you like fragrances like Santal 33 from Le Labo, you're going to love this one. Again, sandalwood lovers, check this one out. Number two 
is a sand spicy sandalwood fragrance. That's how I would describe this one. It's really good. All right, guys, and last but not least, let's get into the final fragrance in the Roman collection, and this is number three. This is number three, and uh, this is the most bold fragrance, I would say, of all three. Um, let's give it a spray, and let's just let's talk about it really quickly. Let's tell you what we're looking at with number three. Oh, man, this is really smoky, all right? So this, again, the most bold, the most masculine. You get a lot of incense in this fragrance. It is really heavy on the incense. Incense, because you get incense and leather. And sometimes leather can come off almost smoky because, of course, you know, uh, leather, saffron. So it's like a double or triple dose, I would say, of a kind of notes that give smoky nuances sometimes. Again, the saffron, leather, as well as the incense. Now there's a little bit of sweetness that you're gonna get from this as well because there is, uh, this does contain an amber cord. And I do wanna correct something. The second fragrance does not have cardamom, but this one does. And this one opens up with spice. It has cardamom and saffron. So the other one has saffron in it, but not cardamom. This one has cardamom and saffron in it. And that's really what this fragrance is about. A little bit of sweetness from the amber cord. Uh, again, very smoky from the incense, leather, and saffron and spices you know again the cardamom that's really what this fragrance is but i really love it man this is going to be great in the fall and winter on really cold days again really masculine smells phenomenal very well done again bravo 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 to adamo parfums their first three fragrances are great if this is any indicator of what is to come in the future i'm very excited to see what they be will be releasing next and from what i was told in the near future, we're probably going to see a few additional fragrances added to this portfolio. But that is it, guys. That is my time. Don't forget, uh, if you want to get a sample set, uh, make sure you head over to Adamo Parfums. Again, I'll link it down below. And use the code BOWTIE to make sure that you get the sample set, the discovery set for free. Again, you only have to pay the shipping. But I will make sure I link that down below. That's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. Of course, you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Then don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.